Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Corrine. Thank you for joining me at my craft desk today. Today I want to show you the brand new fabulous alcohol markers that Stamping Up have just bought out. Um, they're currently only released to demos, however, if you would like to get your crafty mittens on these, you can sign up as a demo which is completely open to the hobby crafter if you aren't interested in the business side of being a demonstrator. Uh, if you want more info on that, uh, go to my blog at kareenmariedesigns.com which I'll pop the link in the description box below for you so you can have a read. Uh, if not, just contact me. Um, now, let's have a play. I have pre-stamped this gorgeous rose uh, from the Graceful Garden stamp set in the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I've allowed it to dry for around five minutes so they set and dry ready for the markers. So we'll get started. Uh, what I've used here as you can see I've already started. Um, I've used Old Olive in the light and the dark and we shall do that on the stem. I like what I like about these is they've got a bullet point and a, a more brush tip. So they've got a, a real fine point. And they've also got this slightly thicker, but it still has the fine point if you want detail work. I find them absolutely fantastic. They are so easy to use. So. I'm going to use the slightly thicker point, just pop the colour down, colour in wherever you might find green. So I'm going to just pop it on the stem and scribble it on the leaves. Now with alcohol markers, if you've not used them before, you need to use them on Cardstock that is uh, useful for, for blending, so our Whisper White is absolutely fantastic for that anyway. Um, you have to use it, blend them together like when the ink is still wet, otherwise you end up with dark patches or lines and they just do not blend together. But pop over the top and just sort of flick that colour in where the shadow would be. Excuse the trains going past, I have trains going past every few minutes. I hope they're not too noisy. I also have a Rottweiler asleep behind me. This probably will start snoring at any moment. And a baby asleep in the other room. So if she wakes up, I will probably have to cease filming anyway, but I will come back. So I tend to just shadow around the edges, have a lighter patch where the light would hit naturally. I have something that looks like that. I'm quite happy with that. I'm by no means an artist or a colourist or a professional, but I like to have a little play. So I'm going to do light Bermuda, Bermuda Bay and dark Bermuda Bay on my rose. So I'm going to outline where the dark places would be on the leaves, so near the bottoms. Let's see what a dark aqua blue sort of colour would look like in a rose. And here comes another train. <laughs> oh. So I just very quickly, I honestly, I'm not one of these people that have time to faff around 
I just like to get in, chuck some colour down and pretty much hope for the best. I just literally just scribble it on like that. I'll go over with a lighter colour. We'll blend in try not to go over the edges keep it in the lines just like when you were at school <laughs> so I just I really love the saturation of color that you get with these pens they are so lovely to use as well. So easy to apply the colour. There really is no fuss, no faffing. You can get on with what you need to do, especially if you're trying to craft multiple projects in a day and you've just got to get the job done. Voila. I'm quite happy with that. Now, if you wanted to lift the colour, there is a colour lifter that comes with these. Um, this has basically just got pure alcohol in it. So what you do is when you brush it on to certain areas, it would give it just a little bit of a highlight so you can highlight little patches just where light would hit those petals or indeed even on the leaves and then you just scribble it off if you get mark colours marking on the uh, tip but it won't damage the marker anyway so I'm going to have a go at, let's do a knight of navy so here I've got the light knight of navy and the dark knight of navy so i'm going to do exactly the same again with a long tip let's just get in there pop in some shadows just like that Now I can hear swans outside my window. I will have to explain, I, I'm on a narrow boat crafting at the moment. Um, it is in the evening. It is actually pretty close to midnight. Um, I'm just trying to have a bit of peace and quiet, de-stress like you do. And of course, being on a boat in the middle of the countryside, I've got trains going past very loud and swans and I, I get ducks and geese and all sorts banging on the window or tapping on the side you get the fish banging on the boat it's wonderful but you know it's not great when videoing so I do apologize Look at that saturation of colour, that is fabulous. Now, I'm sure you're probably all screaming at home, why on earth is she doing all of these crazy coloured roses? Well, do you know what? Sometimes it's fun to just throw whatever colour you've got at something and just see how it goes I mean goodness me life is too short roses come in so many pretty colours why not hey you could even go really bonkers and have a polka dot one if you liked it's your artwork Go for it is what I say. 
look at that I just love how it really brings those petals alive and that's the baby waking up in the background Hopefully she's gone back to sleep. She's currently teething at the moment, so is very, very easily upset, and she keeps waking up in the middle of the night. Bless her. But can't really blame her. Now, I didn't leave much space there, did I, for highlights? But hey. It might work. That's me being distracted by the baby waking up. But what we can do is give that colour lifter a try. See if we can get a bit more light colour in there. And as the baby is waking up, my little girl, I'm going to leave it there. And say there, what do you think? So yes, please get in contact if you'd be interested in signing up as a demo to get these fabulous markers. If not, enjoy. Okay, have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button to get updates for my next video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.